How do you write landing page content with Jarvis AI? Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can easily create landing page content or home page content using Jarvis AI copywriting software. So I recently had a client order several landing pages and uh, I started off writing them or writing the first one in Jarvis and I was kind of surprised that there wasn't already a recipe for writing a landing page. Um, so the first thing I did is I started working with boss mode and I came up with a pretty nice recipe pretty quickly that I'm going to share with you in this video and then I'm going to save it in the recipes repository. Uh, I'm not sure if that makes it public or not so I'm not sure if you'll be able to access it there, but um, I will copy and paste it all into the description of this video as well so that you can always get the text from there and easily just pull it into your Jarvis if you're using it. Uh, so we're just going to start from scratch. I'm in new document. We're going to start from scratch. We don't need the blog post workflow. And the landing page I'm going to write today is going to be a copywriting services landing page. All right, because um, I actually realized recently that I make most of my client income from copywriting services and I don't have a copywriting services landing page on my website. So I decided that I would fix that. All right, so I'm just gonna copy and paste my uh, recipe in here. And this is it, it's pretty simple. So you basically start with a title that says topic landing page. So in this case, it's copywriting services landing page. And I'm gonna make this an H1. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I think it's probably a good idea. And then we come down here and you wanna make sure that your cursor is at the end of the, right at the end of the line. And you can use control enter, but control enter will uh, erase this line, it will consume it essentially when it writes. Uh, so, but if you use control shift enter, then it'll keep this line here and just write after it. So I'm gonna use control shift enter in order to activate boss mode on this command. Okay, and I'm gonna do that a couple times because I want to get a number of potential um, points, number of potential headline ideas. All right, so now let's read through some of these. Eight tips for successful copywriting services. What are the benefits of hiring a copywriter? Is writing services worth it? Five copywriting tips to keep in mind. What is the best way to hire a copywriter? All right, so this is uh, giving me a little bit of an idea here. That it's actually sort of a combination of two of these. So I'm gonna delete most of them, get rid of this. And I'm going to say eight tips for successfully buying copywriting services. That's a pretty good headline for a copywriting services landing page. And now that this Jarvis command is no longer needed, I'm just going to delete it and pull up the next one, which is write some set, which is write some subheading ideas for the above headline. Again, I need to make sure my cursor is at the end of the line and I'm gonna use control shift enter to activate boss mode. Okay, and again, same as before, I'm just gonna do this several times to get a bunch of subheadline ideas. All right, do's and don'ts when planning for your website content. Should you hire a copywriter? I like that one, maybe not this one. What is a landing page? How to use it to convert traffic into leads? Get rid of these two. 11 ways you can create better customer experiences through effective marketing. I'm gonna change this to copywriting and keep it. 
eight tips for successfully buying copywriting services. That's my title. Understanding the role of a copywriter. That's really good. How to use your content marketing expertise to create an effective landing page. Now, thank you. I like this. What is a content audit and why should it be included in my business's yearly budget? Um, and I'm just going to remove the number for that one. Okay. All right. So now that we've got some subheadlines, I'm going to get rid of this command. I'm going to turn all of these into H3s. And then I'm going to pull up the next command, which is expand each subheading above with a paragraph. Control Shift Enter. All right, and it's not going to be able to write the entire thing in one go. So now I can just hit Control J, which is the normal compose function, and it's going to continue what it was just writing. I hit Control J again. Okay, let's just see what it's doing here. All right, it actually kind of went in the wrong direction with that. It's my bad, really. Um, so I'm just gonna delete that and try again, Control Shift Enter. This happens with uh, any AI copywriting software. Sometimes it'll kind of take it in the wrong direction. So if this isn't working, I actually have a different method built in, which is probably gonna work a bit better here. So I'm just gonna get rid of this command and I'm gonna move on to write a paragraph for each of the above subheadings, which is another command that I have built in here. So we're just gonna do control shift enter on this one. Activate boss mode. All right, maybe I should have done this. Here we go, I think it's gonna work this time. Yeah, here we go. So now it's it's gonna copy each of my subheadings and it's going to um, give me a paragraph for them. And you can also do this a little bit more, um, a little bit more effectively probably. So if I can just take this here and then we need to modify this command a little bit to write a paragraph for the above subheading take that and put it right underneath this one and control shift enter And so the great thing about this is that once you get it writing, um, I think it repeated itself a little bit there. But that's okay. Just get rid of that. Uh, once you get it writing, you can just start using the regular compose function in order to. Uh, oops, that was right the way it was. Once you get it writing a little bit like this, you can just use the regular compose function or control or command J in order to continue expanding it. So we'll do this one. J 
just so you can see what I mean, um, I'll just hit Compose, and it's just going to continue writing underneath that heading. And we'll do this one. And last one. That time I did control enter, so it'll erase it and write for me. All right, and then now once you have um, once you have some headings and some body content written, you can actually use what you already have to further infer context and write more. So if you need more headings, then rather than doing it the same way as before, you can just use this command right here, which is write some more subheadings for the above landing page content. And this one worked really well for me last time. Uh, we'll see if it works right here. Not super well. Here we go. Okay, but hopefully you can see how that works. And um, another, uh, I think, overlooked feature of Jarvis is the fact that it's actually really good at rewriting and reworking its own content. Uh, so that's why I put this final command in here, which is turn the above paragraph into a PAS framework. So if I take that and let's say I like the content of this first paragraph, like I like what it says, but I don't think it's effective enough in the way that it's saying it, then I want it to be rewritten as a problem agitate solve framework. So I'm just gonna hit control enter and it will rewrite the above paragraph for me into this framework. All right, so now I just need to remove the problem agitate solve part. And you can do this with any copywriting framework. Uh, you can do this with other kinds of frameworks. Um, if, you, if you have a specific framework that you want to uh, train Jarvis on, as long as you put information into the page about how to use it, it should be able to manage that. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. We're up to 632 words now. And all that I really need to do is go through and edit this in order to get it flowing well. And then anywhere that I want to expand, I can just go through and use the standard compose function, which is control J or command J or that button that I just clicked. And that's gonna make it really easy to um, flesh things out and create a bunch of different potential pieces of copy that I can use in this copywriting services landing page. All right, so um, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna save this uh, recipe in the recipes, uh, uh, in Jarvis recipes but I'm not sure if me saving it there is going to make it accessible to everyone or if that's just accessible to my account. So I will also copy and paste this text into the video description. All right, I hope that was helpful for you. Leave me a comment, let me know if there's anything in particular about Jarvis that you need help with. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.